as I said, uh, Richard's got 10 in with David Middleton. Uh, first choice auctions, uh, the date is... 29th. 29th, Saturday 29th. That's at uh, Washington, Washington Gardeners Club, um, a big workman's club. Um, He's got some super lots coming up in that auction. We've got 10 in ourselves, and they offer the very best what we can offer. As I say, once you've watched today, uh, the all off performance pigeons, and uh, you can't ask for much more than that. Um, because really, anybody who wants to serious about winning a uh, pigeon race and should be going off performance instead of just looking at pedigrees because it's off a son of this or a son of that. It's all right if it's off a son of this or a son of that, or a daughter, but them pigeons have got to produce top performance winning pigeons, not generations away, as, as near as you can, and uh, it'll put you on the road to success, um, and that's my advice. But, as I say, David's got an auction uh, coming up, and uh, I'd like to thank Chris and Pat who have came up today and I, I hope they've uh, enjoyed what they've seen and had a good day out. The weather's been spot on for us. Uh, they've seen what the life's like on uh, the allotments up here yeah, in West yeah. Auckland. And yeah. uh, There's no fancy cons here, there's no electric or nothing like that. Everything's natural and as I say the products what we've shown, they're all just natural products. If there's something wrong with the pigeons, we'll get them checked out and obviously treat accordingly. Uh, other than that, we do trade for salmonella once every year, immediately after racing now, in case they've picked anything up in the baskets. And, but other than that, we don't trade for any antibiotics whatsoever, unless we are uh, told to do so by the appropriate people. But uh, yeah. as I say, I, I hope you've had a good, enjoyable day, and hopefully some of the fancies will watch this. Um, as I keep saying, there's no secrets in pigeon racing. You need good birds. You need to keep them healthy and you need good management and also you need a, a good bit of luck to go along with that. Definitely. Uh, well I can say Pat's over there but we both enjoyed it. It's been absolutely fabulous. Thank you for your hospitality. Yeah, no problem. And uh, you. breakfast. Yes. We've not had anything. <laughs> Always uh, a warm they, welcome. They vet all my tobler roll. Yeah. I'm going to have some more before I go. Oh, there's a bit left. Yeah. I'll go and get it now. You mentioned about losing youngsters. Yeah. The factory over there, I mean, there's only one batch there, but I've seen, I've seen maybe 200 uh, strays on the factory, so it must be a job keeping your youngsters it, away from it them. It is. At the beginning of the year, the factory's over there, there might be about 20 pigeons, and then as the season progresses, it just all of those will be pigeons with rings on. Yeah. I'll guarantee you it. Is, and it, a when food, you, is it a food factory? It's a, um, no, it's not a, well, part of it is a meat, but no, there's all different industries go on there. There's nothing for them to eat, they just go to the fields. But when people ask about where does all these youngsters go to, or pigeons, what gets stuck, up and down the country, you'll see premises like that with large, with amounts. hundreds on. And once they get in with the, the, the flocks, obviously, that's just their way of life, and, and that's what happens to them. They yeah. just lose the instinct. To, for home and, and then they just furrow in the fields. Yeah, it's a large factory as you've seen on, on the video uh, and there is hundreds of, hundreds of fed up pigeons. On a, race, yeah. on a race day when there's one comes we'll say there's one for the factory they've won again. <laughs> <laughs> and one thing I would say as well and probably same for David is you know I like to keep a close small uh, family if you like of people around me at MPH and bring performance pigeons and Richard just agreed uh, that will stick with me for a few years probably will be David as well smashing guy David uh, I hope your auction uh, is a big success I'm sure it will with quality because I've been through them today so I'd like to thank Richard for that as well yeah no thanks a pleasure for his comments it so does this loft does yeah. epitomise performance where basket writes the pedigree which is me me ethos so, well, that's, that's the only thing what uh, any fans here should go off the basket yeah. because they can be bred off this, that, and the other. We can all have good pigeons, but they've got to produce good pigeons. And the only way that you know if they're any good is the basket tells the tale. It's no good talking a good pigeon, you've got to I do the performance. Is he He's in uh, Turkey.
It's in Turkey. You're on film. On that note. <laughs> really? <laughs> on that note. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you. Cheers, Richard. <laughs> what do you mean, Simon?